So I wanted to do a quick walkthrough of the Scout 172 Sportfish that I've been restoring the past couple months. So first off, it's sitting on a Charleston trailer from Charleston, South Carolina. We've got the Minn Kota Taroba 80 thrust. It's a 24 volt. Replaced the Igloo cooler with a Yeti 65 and two custom cushions from Affordable Boat Cushions. We have a Sea Deck ruler, shallow water anchor, a Taco Marine Neptune 2 leaning post with the backrest. Went ahead and added a Power Pole Pro Series 1. Had Blackwater Welding here in Charleston, South Carolina, fabricate a custom swim platform. This 2002 Scout did not come with the factory swim platform. I still have the 90 two-stroke. So in the battery compartment, I've got the power pole, pump, one battery. and then relocated the battery post terminals and added a cutoff switch with easy access. Water separator. And then in the live well side, I put down marine mat from Bass Pro and that's where I store most of the fluids and the second stern anchor. I relocated the factory gauges. Scout puts them up front. I went ahead and relocated the tack and the gas gauge down on the helm with enough spacing that in the future I could add the Yamaha speedometer. I'm running the EchoMap UHD274 and it's flush mounted with a Blue Sea Systems eight panel distribution. I had both outfitters create a custom hatch for me with the bulb seal and I have my ICOM M330G mounted up top with the headset. That's run to the Shakespeare four foot antenna. And that comes through the console. Up on the dash, I added cup holders, the heading sensor, and then a compass. Then up in the front hatch, I'm currently using it as storage for life jackets and fenders. And then in the anchor well, it fits a Guardian G7 perfectly with 200 feet of rope and my bow lines. I have kicker speakers all the way around the six and a half inch. And those all go to kicker KMC2. I went ahead and replaced the original 704 remote and key switch with the newer style. I did a complete bow to stern rewire the whole boat, dual batteries with the Minn Kota charger. Complete rewire. I'll include some pictures of the rewire. I have a C deck helm pad and then rest of the tackle storage that Taco Marine includes in the leaning post. So I wanted to make this quick video. Whenever I was doing most of the restoration, there was never too many videos on the internet of the 2002 or early 2000s Scout 172 Sportfish.